there's a lot of Teslas in Hong Kong is because um, uh, back in 2017, right back in 2012, the Hong Kong government said that all electric cars were tax free. So Tesla came to Hong Kong back in 2014. So at that moment, a lot of people bought Teslas. I mean, between because all the cars in Hong Kong are taxed 115 wow. percent. So when you know this is tax free, it makes sense to buy them. And gas is very expensive here. Petrol is very expensive. Not sure enough how much is it in Australia, but in Hong Kong, uh, if you count like a US, it's like nine dollars per gallon, and wow. in the states, it's like three dollars a gallon. So it's it's like yeah, two hundred percent of what you, what you know from you know the, the difference in the states. So it makes sense to buy these because these cars has no oil change. You know, there's le main, less maintenance and they're pretty fast. And another reason to this is, um, for example, this is a Tesla 85. So 85 has around close to 500 horsepower. So it's equivalent to maybe a, like an E63. And an E63 costs around 1.6 million Hong Kong dollars in Hong Kong. Oh. And this costs around 800,000 Hong Kong dollars. So that's a double of the E63. Yeah. But this car is pretty much just as fast as the E63, and you pay half less for it. And the registration for the tax road tax every year is only a thousand dollars Hong Kong dollars. No way. Yeah, and the E63 will cost I, don't know, I think around thirteen thousand for a year. Yeah. So everything adds up, you know. So it makes sense to buy a Tesla. That's yeah. why you see a lot of them on the road. But just around two months ago, um, the government announced that from April first, starting from April first, uh, all EV cars. Electric vehicles will be taxed back 150 percent. So let's see what happens. In the meantime, let's see what happens. Yeah. Mm. Uh, as I know, not anyone is buying Tesla right now is because the tax is back. And uh, mm. yeah, it's gonna be until next year, 2018, March 31st. So people might buy them if it's tax-free again, or maybe there's a tax break for it. Mm. Uh, but at the meantime, yeah that's, yeah, that's it. Like in Australia, I haven't seen one Tesla yet. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did hear from, like, since I've been driving Uber, I've met a lot of people from Australia too, and they said there are not that much Teslas on the road, so no. I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. Uh, but yeah, these cars have very good acceleration. I can try it if you want. Yeah. 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 Do you want to try it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's find an open road, yeah. Cool. Even though the ride is kind of short, but, you know. Yeah. Should should be we should have a chance to try it here. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah and has built in Spotify. You know what Spotify? Uh, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it has a premium account so you can search whatever songs you want. Uh, is there anything you want to listen to? You can just type it in. Uh, just type it in. Yeah, feel free. You can play around. So I think it's one word, but it might come out though. Let's try it. Okay, oh. come, come. So you search for oh, yeah. songs. So, yeah, yeah, so that is your song. So you don't need any USB or anything. So it has Spotify. This car is always online. Uh, it runs on a Google map. And that's even better because Google Maps is really good. Yeah. So might be kind of slippery, so it's wet, but um, it's pretty fast. You can try the acceleration now, okay? Wow. Oh, yeah. So it's probably slipping, so you can step down. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. like, it's better than petrol cars, too, because, like you said, you have to pay lots of money in Hong Kong for uh, to put petrol in, so it's basically a no-brainer. Yes, and... Maintenance-wise, this car is much cheaper than normal cars. For example, brakes, they last forever. Because um, when you slow down the car, it uses the motor to slow down the car first. And it regenerates the, the energy back to your battery. So that's why the brakes will last for a long time. For a normal car, you know, brake, brakes may, brake pad might last for 50 kilometers, or 50,000 kilometers, or depending on how you drive it. But, you know, these cars can last up to 200. Uh, 200,000 kilometers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it depends how you drive it, too. But, um, 
Like overall, uh, I would say it's a great car, especially for Hong Kong. It's not that comfortable, mm -hmm. might be, uh, but I mean technology technology wise, it's a great car. Uh, it has autopilot, but in Hong Kong, um, the government only let it use the like, autopilot on few ways. But uh, I can sh show you the cruise control. See, right now I'm not on my gas pedal or anything. So you see the car is moving, right? Yes. If I set my cruise control at 60, but the car knows its distance, and when that car does a full stop, this car will do a full stop. Oh, That's cool. why you see we, we're keeping a distance in between by one car. Yeah. yeah. So when you're stuck in traffic, it works really good. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, when the car is gone, the car, the car will go back up to 60 kilometers. And when the car comes in the front, well, since this turn is kind of fast, I'm going to slow down there. But I guess I will slow down. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And, and then, can you set it to like a range? Instead yeah, of... you could. You could set a range from here, how far you want to stay away from that car in the front. So, I mean, yeah. But in Hong Kong, usually you only leave one, one spot, because leaving too far away, people will cut in all the time, especially in Hong Kong. It's just, yeah, it's good. It's kind of hard because there's a lot of cars in Hong Kong. The yeah. so road condition here, you, you can't set too far. Away. So yeah, so right now I'm on my cruise control. I'm not on my brakes. You see, I'm just following the car in the front. Yeah. My cruise control is on 30. I'm going around 10 kilometers right now. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I heard the um the technology in this car is one of the one of the um best technology like advanced cars around on the market it is definitely is you, just imagine yeah. um when you have a phone how long does it take you to charge a phone uh, an hour yeah. two hours that's not bad right yeah this car if you go to test a supercharger it only takes within an hour you get 90 percent battery that's yeah so and cool. after 90% battery, well, depending on which model you have, but you probably have around 350 kilometers. Okay. Yeah, so these cars can charge up really fast, which this is the this is the hardest thing that other car manufacturer can do right now, right? which I mean Tesla can do. So, yeah, so technology-wise, it's a great car. And for example, you know, sometimes when you leave the car in the sun, it's very hot, right? Mm. What you can do, you can use your mobile app. To turn on the AC first, oh. and you know, for example, I I have my keys with me, and you want to drive my car away. What can I do? I can use my app to to unlock the door and do the key that's driving. So you can drive my car back home or whatever, yeah, whatever you need to to do with it. So right now, here's my car. I'm driving around at all 15, 16. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty update. And you can see. 50 percent. Um, yes, yeah, so and you can control. It. Like, you know, bend the sunroof. Oh, yeah. That's Close cool. the sunroof. Yeah. Things like that. And if you're in the States, uh, you can have you can have this mode called Summons Mode. Uh, what Summons Mode is, is when you go in a parking lot, there's these really tight spots, right? Mm. And when you park really tight spots, can you, it's hard to get out the car, right? Yeah. So what you can do is just get out the car, use your key, Double click it, the car will move into the parking spot itself. And when you need to get the car back out, just double click it again, the car will come back out. So you can just hop in, so you don't have to squeeze out the door, you know. Oh yeah, that's so yeah. annoying. So technology-wise, this is this is a, uh, I think this is the most advanced car right out there right now. Oh. Yeah, and that's, that's every, every day. Yeah. yeah. And at petrol stations, is there now lots of charging stations for them? Um, Tesla charging stations, uh, yeah. the superchargers, we call them, there's 13 locations in Hong Kong, each of them average 4 spots, um, there's also other charging stations too, for example, shopping malls happen too, um, they have, we have these 13 A's, which takes a long time, but, uh, if you're planning to spend a few hours there, it's actually fine, if you're planning to spend maybe 5-6 hours there, you might get around 60 kilometers, because 13 A, maximum, you only can charge 10 kilometers per hour. But as superchargers, when there's no cars, you can charge charge up to 600 kilometers in one hour. That's wow. why you get 90% in within an hour. Wow. That's how it works. Yeah. And
And can you buy the superchargers for your home? No, you can't. Oh. No, you can't. Well, here we are at Times Square. That's Thank a quick you. line. Okay. All right. Nice uh, to see you. I'm Carmi. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Huh. You're welcome. Oh, was that cool? Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Okay, you guys enjoy. All right. Have a good day. You too. Okay. Bye. Oh, we didn't leave anything in there, did we? Um, Thanks, bud.